Am I in focus? Did you get the close-up? Did you get the close-up? I'm just making sure. We have to make sure this is right for the people. You know? All my styletas and stylitos. Gotta do it right for the people. Hello everybody, welcome back. It's your boy Joby Styles. You already know what it is. I don't even have to keep introducing myself because y'all clearly know who it is and what's poppin'. All right, so today we're doing a nice simple look. I kept a nice simple lid and we did a bomb wing liner on some lashes and did a nice pop of color on the bottom lash line. Now before we get into this look, I want you guys to go ahead and subscribe. Mm-hmm. You ain't gonna be sitting here getting all the tips and tricks and secrets without subscribing. So go ahead and do that. I'll wait. Alright, so I'm gonna show you how I did this look with the Volcano Goddess palette from Becca. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Ooh, she's everything, honey. She's everything. Alright, that's enough. Now let's get into this look. <laughs> All right, so I already have my complexion and my brows and everything on, so we're gonna go ahead and get into this eye. Of course, you're gonna wanna prime your eye first. I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion to do that. This is just the original one. But now that our eyes are nice and primed, all I really wanna do is kinda contour the crease a little bit just to give it some shape and definition. I don't want this to be a dramatic blown out look. I just want it to just have a nice shape to it and then we're gonna have that light lid and the dramatic liner just to give that naturalness. But then our pop of color is gonna be on the waterline, which I think is gonna be beautiful. So to kind of contour the lid, I'm just gonna use the Sephora Collection Contour Kit. And I'm gonna just use a nice fluffy brush. This is my Morphe 441 brush. I really like this for the crease and just to nice blow out a shadow. I'm gonna use this color here. It's kind of like cool. So it's like a grayish brown. I think that's gonna be perfect just to go ahead and contour the crease out a little bit. We're gonna use our Becca Goddess Volcano Goddess Mirror. We're just gonna use this right in the crease. Beautiful, just want a little contour, that's all. All right, so now that I have that contour shade on there, I just wanna kinda of deepen up the crease and kinda of carve it out just a little bit more. So I'm gonna use the darker shade in the contour palette from Sephora Collection, and I'm going to use a smaller brush. This is one of my Mikasa brushes. I'm not sure on the number, it rubbed off, so. Yeah, it is what it is. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of that shade, and I'm gonna kinda of tap off the excess and we're just gonna carve out that crease just a little bit more. We're gonna keep it on the lower part of the crease. I don't wanna go too high because I don't want a huge smoky look. I just kinda wanna carve this out just a little bit. Yeah. And since that is such a deep color, you see how that does that? So now I'm just gonna blend that out with the same brush I was using before. And just keep it nice and in that little pocket. Beautiful. So see how we just deepened it up just a little bit, nothing too crazy. Yeah, I want to get a little bit of a bigger brush and blend that out a little bit more. And this is just a clean brush. This is my Morphe M504. I'm taking just to kind of give it more of a wash and just blend it out a little bit more. Alright, so now it's really time to get into the Volcano Goddess palette from Becca. Look at that. It is such a pretty palette. I'm going to use this one right here. It's called Granite. It's like the deepest of the matte shadows in the palette. They only have the three. The rest are nice shimmers and just really, these are like, I don't know, like a creamy shimmer. They're gorgeous. I'm going to use the blue one today because it's epic. Um, but I want to use that granite shade to really soften out the lid. I like that nice soft nude shade on the lid and then we have that bomb black matte wing liner. That's going to give this beautiful, beautiful look. So in order to lay granite down, I'm going to use a nice soft flat brush. I'm going to use my, uh, this is like one of my little Dior brushes. It's cute, you know. So we're just going to go ahead and pack on granite. Yeah. 
Yep. I'm literally just putting it on all over the lid and bringing it right up to the crease. Um, I'm not really blending it out in the crease. I'm just bringing it up to the crease. Kind of like if you were going to go do like a cut crease, but not. Nah, we're not even doing all that. We're keeping it nice and soft. Alright, so now that's on there. I like that, but I do want it to be just a little bit softer. I'm going to add a little bit of the volcanic sand, and we're going to place that right in the center of the lid. Oh shoot, she's really light, okay? So only do a little bit and press in the center, because she's giving you almost cloud. And now I'm going to go back kind of wipe the brush off and go back into granite and kind of go over that because I just wanted to brighten it up just a little bit yeah yep so put granite right on top of that boom very soft very subtle I love it I love it so now that we have the shadows on the lid I want to go ahead and put a little bit of color in the water line now I'm gonna start off with the liner before we get into the shadows I want to use the makeup forever aqua XL liner for deeper skin tones I tend to like to do more of like a purple a blue maybe even a green um, gold whatever you want to do honestly nowadays whatever you feel best in okay so I'm gonna use this color it's I24 in I24 it's a nice blue like aquatic tealish blue so I'm just gonna use that right in the water line now that we have this beautiful blue liner on I want to go ahead and use that skinny brush once again and I really want to get into midnight sapphire this is a gorgeous gorgeous blue um, I don't know how it's gonna come off on my brush it's actually not coming off on my brush so I'm going to dip my brush into a little bit of this Muron Mixing Liquid and see if I can get it off on there. Brush. It's turning purpley. This is different. I don't know how the hell I'm going to get this shadow off of here. Okay, so that's weird. This shadow is really much... I can pick it up my finger but it's like crumbling as I'm trying to get into it. So I guess since I just smeared it, I can get some on my brush. I'm gonna need a very, very dense brush to get this out. I'm gonna use this Bobbi Brown liner brush to really get this shadow out of here. And I'm like really digging into it because it's a really weird creamy texture, but it's like a harder cream. All right, yeah. So now that I kind of dug into the shadow, literally like I have to like dig into it to get it onto the brush. I don't really like that. I'm just gonna say that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color, but I don't like how I have to really work to get that. So we're gonna go ahead and apply that to the bottom lash line. And even still, like I don't feel like it's showing up how I want it. All right, let me dip this into the Muron Mixing Liquid. I don't know why, but I feel like it's turning purpley. So we're taking that across the whole bottom lash line. I'm gonna grab a little bit more color. This is so interesting. I really don't like the texture of those shadows. I don't know if there's like a best practice on getting it off of there, but I'm having an issue and I actually don't like the way this looks so I'm gonna go ahead and take a smaller brush and I'm just gonna try to blend that out a little bit I don't know what the hell is wrong with this shadow I don't know how you're supposed to pick it up but I don't know, Becca, you need to put out an instruction manual for this shadow. I don't know. I don't really like it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it to the other side because I feel like I gave it a good amount. This is going to be a struggle, but I'm going to go ahead and make it work. Hopefully your palette isn't as stiff as a shadow as mine. I don't know, but... 
we're gonna go ahead and finish up this other eye. I'm tired of wasting time on this. All right, so if you are sitting here doing this with me, I am so sorry for trying to get you to get that color on your bottom lash line. I finally did it, but it took a lot. It took a hell of a lot. This is These shadows here, they're very pretty, but you can't really manipulate them too much. They're gonna be best just taking it with a finger and just really going at it and applying it to the lid because they will swatch and they will give you something, but if you try to pick it up with a brush, honey, Honey, it ain't gonna work. Maybe with one of those little sponge tip applicators you can do it, but not with a brush. Um, yeah, so that's better for a lid topper or a lid color, because honestly, the bottom lash line, it doesn't work. I made it happen, but just because I started, so I had to finish. Otherwise, it was a pain in the butt. So honestly, we're gonna move on from this palette. It's The shimmers and everything are really, really pretty. They're absolutely gorgeous. Actually, you know what? Just, no, I'm not going to do. Actually, yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of diamond dust and I want to put that in my inner corner. Just a little bit. And that's kind of like one of those soft shadows too, but I'm not even going to play with her too much. I'm just going to go ahead, take it on a little round brush and put it on the inner corner. And you kind of have to press her on because she's flaky, honestly. I'm seeing it and I don't know, man. Once you beat it in there, it works, but like, you have to like really press it in. All right, whatever. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the MAC eyeliner, which has been one of my faves as of recently. I don't know why, it's just so matte black. And the applicator is a felt tip applicator and it's just so strong. It does what I need to do. So we're gonna go ahead and put this wing liner on. All right, so now that I finished with the liner, I really like this look. I'm going to do something that I don't normally do for you guys because I feel like this look really deserves it. Uh, I'm going to throw on some lashes. So I'm going to use the House of Lash Lashes and Knockout. All right, so now that we have our lashes on, now, honestly, I can't stand the way these feel. I never wear lashes because my lashes are long enough, so I really don't need to. No shade, no tea. I just don't really like the way this feel. I feel like I can see them. Um, maybe these aren't the right shape for my eyes. I don't know. This is what I had around me, so this is what I put on. But I do like the way it looks, like when my eyes are open, like overall, I feel like it does give a little something, but I feel like I can still see my lashes under them, which is weird, even though I put mascara on, so they were nice and black already, but I don't know, I guess, I'm just doing it for the crowd right now. But we're going to go ahead and get into this lip, I'm going to start off with the Crucifix Lip Liner from Kat Von D. I'm going for a nice nude lip, but there's layers to this shit. This is Hawkwind. Crucifix and Hawkwind, honestly, these two together, you can stop after this and call it a day if you wanted to keep it nice and matte. I love this look together. These two are my favorite for a nice nuder type of look. We're not going to stop here. I do want to brighten the lip up just a little bit. So we're going to pull out our Leah Try Again from the Leah Mac Collection. And this is her Try Again lipstick. We're going to use this just to brighten up the look a little bit. So once it starts getting a little matte and starts drying down, we're going to take this and place it in the center. Just to brighten the lip up a little. And try again is more of a matte color. So you see how that brightened that lip up? The last step I like to do, because you know I like those juicy lip looks, we're going to use the Buxom Lip Gloss and Blushing Margarita. And this is a lighter color. I wouldn't use this on its own because it's just light. Um, for a lighter skin tone, of course, you can do it. But we're going to go ahead and tap this on to the center. And do a couple of those. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes, honey. Hmm. I'm slightly living for this. I really am slightly living for this. Um, you know how I feel about that Becca palette. Like, those matte shadows are beautiful. The shadows are actually really pretty. It's just those three creamy ones. You really have to kind of use them on the lid. Um, because for the under eye, it did not work for me. But besides that, this video, I, I really, really like this look. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this look. I am living for it in the name. Alright. <laughs> so as always, please subscribe, like, share. Tell your brother, your sister, your cousin, your auntie, your uncle, your nephew, your niece, whoever. Please, Joby Styles is where it's at. You already know what it is. Alright. So, until next time.